again, we've got some Christmas countdown. Woo! What have we got today, Dan? Game of the year, 2016. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. Yes, Overwatch and winner of Game of the Year for 2016. It rightly deserves it. I've spent more time playing this than anything else. I'm always hopping on for a quick match and it's a pure joy to play. Now I'm not a big multiplayer fan at all. Games like Call of Duty's multiplayer, I just can't get into it. But Overwatch, amazing. The key to this is that you assemble a team of warriors, each with very different styles of play, different powers, different ways of moving about the maps, and you have to work together in order to be the most effective team. Characters' powers and abilities complement each other, and you must always be trying your best to balance the team and play your role. Characters that are for attacking, defense, support, and big tank characters all play so well, and you can tell that every minor detail has been scrutinized over until it's just right. The goals are always simple. You and your team face off against another six-man team and fight for control of areas or escort or defend the payload. Its community is the strongest ever, and you might think that this game would get boring very quickly, but the variety of characters, the near constant free additions from the developers, and its overall presentation is enough to keep you coming back time and time again. It also has some of the most stunning character art and design I've ever seen for this type of game. And really, there is a hero for everyone. If you haven't tried it yet, then go and get it. It's game of the year for a very, very good reason. You know, the world could always use more heroes. And that was Overwatch, game of the year 2016. What a what a fantastic game and addition to this list. You've put some serious hours into that, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I have. Do you remember the unboxing video we did as well? Yeah. You've got a really nice edition of this. Is he did? up there? No, he's, uh, uh, he's, in, he's in the other room. He's in uh, the room. He's in the room now, but yeah. Uh, oh man, that game, it's so good. And yeah. literally, notoriously, I, I really don't like multiplayer that no, much no. at all. That's what so, makes me think that they've nailed it they, with, with Overwatch. They really have. And I, I think the thing that attracts me most to stuff like that is one, team play yeah. but two and I think most importantly you're not all just the same generic character no. like like in Call of Duty you're all just a soldier with the same stuff okay you can have different gear loadouts yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that but it's kind of it's not really rock paper scissor it's yeah, all kind yeah, of yeah. cookie cutter yeah 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 uh, I mean in in Call of Duty it's basically if they see you first you'll get killed most of the time basically it's, it's kind of yeah but in Overwatch I love the um just the broad character range and all their abilities that yeah. kind of go hand in hand like and you can construct this team of people working together to have the strongest chance of beating the other team it's things like definitely taking a step towards strategy oh as, yeah as a team hasn't it yeah yeah and it's i find a lot of times in gaming uh, where there's a game that's designed for people to work together on a lot of the time you get lone wolves that just run off yeah. and just do it all on their own anyway, and there's no real team play. Uh, all right, John's on. Ready, guys. Let's or... do this. Leroy Dragons! Oh my god, he just ran in. This, it actually forces people to work together yeah, because yeah. if you don't work together, you're not going to win. That's very Simple clever. Isn't it? Blizzard built this from the ground up to be that that kind of a game, and they've done such a good job of it. Yeah, it very... actually comes off the back of a project that failed really? by Blizzard. Yeah, that's um, interesting. They, they they put in a phenomenal amount of work to this other game, um, and it basically never got anywhere. And they were really unhappy with it, and yeah. they decided at that point that they'd got so far in it Dan like literally so far almost ready to release yeah and it just basically it just fell it just fell down it all fell apart and then there was a big hiatus and yeah. it was these artists were so passionate about their work and, and yeah, yeah. they'd now got this massive stigma on their backs of a failure yeah 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 so they desperately not to mention all this stuff that they designed and these ideas exactly they, all the assets with. and everything but they they basically just said they created Overwatch on the back of this passionate we need to return to form yeah yeah so this team got together and they came up with these ideas yeah. and all these 
really talented artist just brought it back and yeah. molded what we've got here, which is Overwatch. And to go from a complete failure that never even saw the light of day to be so miserable, to then come back with something like that and win yeah. Game of the Year. Yeah, yeah. Now that is that is passion well, right there. You know? Failure can be the first step to success, can't it? Oh yeah. So yeah, there you absolutely. go. Absolutely. There's proof. And uh, yeah, and they're constantly changing it. They're yeah, updating yeah. it. Oh, um, you get um, like Halloween. You get special. That's uh, right. Yeah, collectibles get... and things, don't you? That's and... right. Yeah, and yeah, and it's kind of like the gameplay is kind of like fueled towards like you leveling up and you yeah. unlock a loot box. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like you get extra unlocks for the characters and stuff, and it's all free to play. And yeah, yeah. The uh, not free to play. Obviously, you, you pay for the game, but everything that... that's in the game is free. That said, so... they did do a free weekend on it recently, which I, they I was, did. I was too. Busy to, to, I did have it when it came out, but I didn't get very far in it, and I mm. traded it in for something rubbish that I've since traded in again. <laughs> so I should buy it back, really. But yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I like the fact that they did a free weekend to give people a taste of it because it's yeah. definitely built for the long term. This game, absolutely, and yeah, they and just the the pure fact that everything that they released after initial release has been completely yeah. free. Yeah. Uh, all the support and the updates yeah. and everything, and they are really looking after this game yeah. and. Yeah. It's going to go a long way. Absolutely. And it's not too late if you haven't played it yet. No, get Don't involved. Don't think of it as a standard release. That's no. a, that is a long-term uh, investment. Project. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So yeah, Game of the Year 2016 makes our Christmas Advent list. And also... Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another Advent game. As always, I've been Brent. I've been Dan. And we've been Game Gasm. Gasm.